Mr. Skull, Mr. Skull. Oh, shit! Mr. Vile! Mr. Skull! I wasn't expecting such a nice neighborhood, to be honest. Something a little more spooky. Oh, yeah. I suppose you're right. I'm only staying until people start to realize they went missing. Hey, no judgment here. But did they have good candy? Yeah, some bunch of crunch, Tootsie Rolls. Hey, but anyways, enough talk. We got a pickups video to do. Come on in, come on in. Make yourself at home, Mr. Skull. Don't mind if I do. Greetings, friends and captives. I hope you are enjoying your Halloween so far. Me and Mr. Skull thought we would surprise you with a long overdue pickups video. Indeed. I was in the middle of a galactic war, but this was obviously more important. But before we do this, I want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine, Caleb Harms, who did this spectacular art piece for my YouTube channel that I'm now using as my default icon. He recorded the whole process of him doing this masterpiece on his YouTube channel, so I'm just gonna leave this link here, and I hope you will all go watch it after this. Today, myself and Mr. Skull are going to be showing off 10 items each we have picked up recently. I know we kinda have different tastes when it comes to video games, so this should be interesting. Hmm, I don't know about that, Mr. Vile. We are quite the same. And I think we're good. Well, I'll start things off by showing off this unique and rare Nintendo power of Castlevania II Simon's Quest. Hey, weren't people offended by this? Correct, Mr. Skull. Featuring a different looking Simon Belmont than we are used to, he was shown holding an eerie grinning decapitated Dracula head. The magazine features a bunch of tips and tricks on the game, with some other amazing pieces of art like these horrifying masks. What an amazing piece of Castlevania history! And it includes the poster, all in great condition. Not gonna lie, I'm jealous. Indeed. I just had to add it to my collection, Mr. Skull. What did you pick up? Well, Mr. Vile, I snagged the Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers comic books. And I have to say, I'm in love. Ever since you showed me Darkstalkers, I've been obsessed with that vampire girl, Morgan. I can't stop reading about her, but um... Okay... <clears throat> these comic books are fascinating. Seeing both of these worlds collide makes such perfect sense. And they did such a great job with the story and all the artwork. And Morgan... Oh, Morgan... At the end of these comic books, there's also a fan art section, and people submit their wonderful art that really just gets Mr. Skull all kinds of excited. Hey, calm your yoga flame. Sorry, sorry, your turn. My next pickup, Mega Man 11 for the Nintendo Switch, the Amiibo Edition. They made that? Indeed they did. I tried my best to keep it in great condition even though I opened it. The box display makes for a great collector's item for any Mega Man fan. As you can see, the amiibo gives you daily bonus in-game items. And here is the amiibo that's included. Let's get a good look at it. Well, at least Capcom did something right. A bunch of goodies are also included, like this screen cleaner, some stickers, a Dr. Wily patch. And I was just so impressed with Mega Man 11. The game was fantastic. What's next? For me? Sonic Mania Plus Collector's Edition. Wait a second. You got a Switch game too. And I haven't broken the seal. The Collector's Edition is awesome. It includes an art book, reversible cover. Just such a fantastic game. I really had fun playing this. But it's still sealed. You didn't even play the game yet. Um, your turn. I picked this baby up at the thrift store recently. Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis Complete. They had this out on the floor for $4.99. Little did they know the value. It's in great condition. Everything's included and I just... Wow. 
That's freaking sweet! One of my best finds of the year. I was blown away. Ah, oh, but I also frequent that thrift store. Mile high, right? And I found Contra Hard Corpse. The game is in excellent shape. Everything's included, complete. And I'd have to say, one of my best finds of the year as well, Mr. Vile. Damn it, Mr. Skull. I feel like you're copying me. No, I just happened to be at the same thrift store after you. <sighs> Next up for me, Luigi's Mansion. Oh yes, you talked about this in your Halloween video. Not only did I find the game, I also picked up the strategy guide to go along with it. Huh. Mr. Vile, it must be fate. What are you talking about? Well, I, uh, I just happened to come across something, something kind of like, uh... Spit it out, Mr. Skull. Seriously? Seriously? I mean, a GameCube game and a strategy guide to go um, with it? Yes. I need some air. You okay, Mr. Vile? No, I'm not okay, Mr. Skull! No, I'm not okay! No reason to get all jealous of my fine, Mr. What? Vile. I just happened to be picking up similar hey, items. I'm not jealous! So it really is neat to display the strategy guide along with it. I bet you can't guess my favorite racer, the Skull. <sighs> Anyways, my next pickup. Project Justice on the Sega Dreamcast. Personally, just one of my most favorite fighters ever made. Project Justice is just, ah, uh, amazing. And always such a good time. You know, it's crazy you say that because I also picked up a fighter that is one of my most cherished and loved games. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm dying to hear this. Now, Mr. Vile, don't get angry. I picked up Rival Schools on the original PlayStation. Really? You're gonna show off part one of the game I just picked up? Are you serious? It's like everything you have is similar to my pickups. Mm, I don't know. I think we just have similar taste in games. The game is in mint condition, complete, and includes the arcade disc and the evolution disc. Both the same game, but differ a little with things like training mode and story mode. Well, I doubt you have anything similar to my next pickup. The official novels of the award-winning Xbox game, Halo. Books include First Strike, The Fall of Reach, and The Flood. Now what could you possibly have to top that? Well, I might have something kinda... Time's a-wasting, Mr. Skull. I picked up some first print official Doom novels, with titles like Knee Deep in the Dead, Infernal Sky, Hell on Earth, and Endgame. Wow, that's actually very cool. You wouldn't want to do a trade, would ya? My Halo books for say, I don't know, your Doom novels? I mean, it's a good trade, right? Come on, what do you say? Mm, yeah, I don't know, Mr. Vile, I kinda like these. You killed a Doom Slayer, don't you remember? You tossed your coffee mug at him, left him for dead. I mean, he just happened to be there, I, I do Oh mean... no you don't, I know you side with those demon skeletons. Mm. Well, okay, we might be able to work out a trade. Next for me is an E3 2018 exclusive pop figure, Black Hole Bomb Mega Man. Any Mega Man pop I see in person, I usually just end up buying. Hmm, well, guess what I found? Oh, I don't know. Let me guess. A pop figure? How did you know? Haha, uh -huh. this pop is amazing. King Dice. Also, an E3 2018 exclusive. I picked mine up at GameStop. How about you? Yes, yes I did. Exclusive pop pickups are a must. Alright, how about this? Resident Evil, The Essentials for PlayStation 2. I like it. 
It includes Outbreak, Code Veronica X, and Resident Evil 4. All included in this nice box to display. That is neat, but I have a feeling you're going to enjoy my next pickup. Oh yes, I'm sure I will enjoy it. Need for Speed, Collector Series for PlayStation 2. It includes Underground, Underground 2, and Most Wanted. Mr. Skull, stop copying me! Stop copying me! No, Mr. Vile, this is completely different! It's a different game, you see? Need for Speed and Resident Evil! It's Indio. not the game, Numbskull. These pickups, they're just, they're just way too similar to one another. I don't see the similarity. You really are just a skull, aren't you? Um, yeah? My next pickup, Deformers Collector's Edition for Xbox One. I mainly got this game because the pug, but the box set includes some great little collectibles. You get a still book with all their butts on the back. Some figures included, including this little adorable pug. Three stickers, a soundtrack, but sadly the game is only online and servers are basically dead. Makes me sad, so you can't even play it. Otherwise this game would be amazing. My next pickup! Too Dark Collector's Edition for Xbox One, from the makers of Alone in the Dark. This one also includes a stillbook and soundtrack. But here's the catch. It's a region exclusive. So good luck trying to find a copy. You know, that is very similar to what I just showed, but I'm not even mad right now, because that does look amazing. Maybe we can do a let's play of that game. And we could break the seal together. Nice find, Mr. Skull. Alright, my last pickup. Mario Party 4. Plus, I picked up the strategy guide for this one, Mr. Skull. I don't know about you guys, but I love owning strategy guides for certain games in my collection. It's always a joy to look back through them because we don't get detailed guides like this anymore. Okay, okay, you got this, Mr. Skull. My next pickup. Mario Party 5 in the official strategy guide. What? Hey, wait. I was so happy. No. I, so no, happy. Mr. Skull, I was so me. happy. Excuse so me, happy. Mr. Skull. Shut up. See, you, you got Mario there. It's official. He's having a party. Oh, you didn't find the strategy guide. Yes, I win. You couldn't copy that one, could you, Mr. Skull? This concludes our pickups video. I really appreciate all of you watching, and I hope you have a happy, safe Halloween. Like, comment, subscribe.